SMA is a particular condition that leads to deterioration of the motor nerves throughout the body. Today, we will be administering gene replacement therapy. Uh, this particular medication, Zolgensma, is intravenously administered, and as a result, we anticipate that her body will begin producing the protein that it has had difficulty producing thus far. She is missing the SMN1 gene, and that is the gene that is responsible for uh, producing the survival motor neuron protein. So without treatment, um, individuals who have her form of spinal muscular atrophy would definitively pass away before the age of two years old. Most of the time, our babies who were diagnosed within the first several months of life um, ultimately end up passing away of respiratory failure uh, because the muscles around their lungs can no longer um, maintain the strength to be able to take a breath in or out. Even three years ago, when I made this um, diagnosis and shared it with families, it uh, had no commercially available treatment. And so I effectively was a hospice doctor to these children. And uh, my job was to help them uh, pass away with grace and peace. Gene therapy has been uh, extensively evaluated in young infants. Uh, many believe, many of my colleagues um, believe that gene therapy will be the preferential treatment for uh, babies that are diagnosed within the first several months of life. It has been a roller coaster of emotions and experiences. When I first started in the world of neuromuscular disease, uh, we did not have any life saving treatments for these children. It has really changed the way that I practice medicine because I um, now am able to provide a medication and a treatment and a whole clinical program uh, to help support these kids grow and thrive. It's life-changing for those families. It is a new hope. It is a new optimism that we never had before.